Even if you are in the 95th percentile of your NCAA fellow athletes as a volleyball player, you only have a snowball's chance in a microwave of going pro. That's not true. That's not a fact. <laughs> but I have, do have 10 fun facts for you guys, so stick around to hear them. Hey guys, Key Michael here, professional volleyball player and fun factaholic. That's not true, but I did come across 10 facts about volleyball today that I never knew, I never needed to know, but now I do know, so I thought I would share them with you guys. So let's go. Fact number one, and I have them all written here because I'm not gonna be able to memorize them all. Fact number one, volleyball was originally called Mintonet, as in badmintonet, as in the little sister of badminton. <laughs> I guess it wasn't a super catchy title. <laughs> Mintonet doesn't really roll off the tongue. Actually, now that you mention it, neither does volleyball. But I'm glad that I can call myself a volleyballer rather than a mintonetter. Mintonetter. Min mintonetter. And along the same lines as of... And along the same lines of weird sport beginnings, the first volleyball that was used were actually just the inside bladder of a basketball until Spalding invented a dedicated volleyball in 1898 or 1896 or 1900. Historians actually can't agree on the date, so that leads me to be a little bit suspicious about this fact. What they do agree on though is that it was World War II that helped to spread the popularity of volleyball in the 1940s and the 1950s because the YMCA, Young Men's Christian Association, went on a rampage to teach the sport to soldiers that were stationed in Germany as a way to promote Christianity through the world. Kind of a weird way to do it, but to each their own. <laughs> so then naturally, the soldiers from Germany, Italy, Japan, learned the sport, and then when the war was over, they took it home and taught it to their friends and family, hence how it grew throughout the world. But it wasn't until 1964 that volleyball was introduced in the Olympics as a competing sport. There it is, good strong over the net to the far court. Russian turn and the whistle, the whistle! And can you guess which Olympics it was? Yep, Tokyo! <laughs> it all comes full circle, right? See you soon, Tokyo 2021. And as for the sport itself, this still seems pretty recent to me, but for you younger players, you probably won't remember. But in 1999, rally scoring was implemented. Before that, you had to serve the ball to earn a point. And then after rally scoring was implemented, as long as you're the one to finish the rally, you can score the point. The idea being they wanted games to be more predictable in length and more TV friendly because I guess the games were a little bit long and boring before that. Because fun fact number five is the longest volleyball game on record lasted 75 hours and 30 minutes. WTF. Can you even imagine a game going that long? How many days is that? Don't make me do math. I think the longest match I've ever played would have been like three hours, maybe four, but I, even that, way too intense, 75 hours. But now with aforementioned rally scoring, these kind of crazy long games don't happen anymore, which is probably why approximately 46 million people play volleyball every week in the US, 46 million and worldwide 800 million people a week. Holy mackerel, where are all these players? I did not know our, our sport was so popular. I kind of thought our sport was a little bit niche. Why aren't you all watching my videos? Hmm? Hmm? Yeah, as it turns out, volleyball is actually the second most popular sport in the world. Second only to soccer, which I think everyone knows is massive. Lovely. Little bit of messy about that one. Above basketball, above baseball, above tennis, above any snow sports. It seriously doesn't feel like that to me. Especially when I think back on the 2012 Olympics, when I told my uncle I was going to be playing volleyball in the games. And he said to me, oh, volleyball, is that the one with the hoop net and you just toss the ball into it? No. 
that uh, that's netball. Mm -hmm. Yep. Volleyball is the second most popular sport in the world, so no big deal. Anyway, I also found out during my studies that a volleyball player jumps about 300 times per match. I guess they're not including the libero in that stat, but 300 times a match. I mean, now it makes sense why I have grandma knees. <laughs> One. Two. And my last fun fact, which I have never heard before in my life, but it's kind of funny. In volleyball, a one-handed block. Do you know what it's called? It's called a Kong. As in, a King Kong. <laughs> Have you ever heard that before? Apparently it's named after King Kong because of the way that he swats the planes when he's hanging off the Empire State Building in those movies. I'm sure you've seen them. There was one recently. But I have been playing volleyball for literally the better part of 20 years and I have never heard that before in my life. <laughs> Maybe I just don't do enough one-handed blocks. Maybe it's more in the men's game. But there you go guys, 10 fun facts about volleyball that you never knew, you never knew, you never knew, you never knew, you never needed to know, but now you, now you know. So next time that you are at a team dinner or on a road trip with your team, or maybe just on a Zoom chat, because apparently that's how we communicate nowadays with our teammates, bust out one of these facts, see if anyone knew it and see if anyone gives a so hit like if you got anything out of this video, hit subscribe if you like volleyball, hit the bell if you're an absolute legend. <laughs> and other than that, I will see you guys in the next one.